guys, so this mission is called um, Energy Saving Switch, and the code of it is M1. Then it can obtain 60 points for us. So this block over here on the left side, if you're on Team Red, will be randomly generated, so it can be over here, here, or here. Let's assume it's right here. But this block will always be stationed right here. So our robot will move right here, turn, and then need to push this block into the slot of um, our block A. So, but if it's partially out, 60 points cannot be earned. And it needs to be inside the slot to make the point count. So that's um, our energy saving switch, power switch, the code is M2, and the point is 60. So your robot moves here and then turns, then there's a switch right there, and the robot is required to turn more than 90 degrees. So bonk. that's more than 90 degrees, so then 60 points can be earned. Okay guys, so now our next mission is called Aging Power Plant. The code is M3, and in total it scores 60 points, but it's 20 points each of the small ones. So, our robot has to go here, travel this much distance, and then um, flick these, oops, these, flick these um, switches, and then make the, the um, end part right here, hit the barrier so it like goes like clank but if it's just stuck like right here then it doesn't count as any points so basically it needs to be like this like, like this so now that scores 60 points so yeah so that's how you do it and that's aging power plants so mm -hmm. in this mission it's called road inspection the code is m5 and it's in total, it scores 50 points. So now for the red team, you can you can start from that or here. But I chose here because it's more convenient to show you how this mission works. So this mission works by the bot coming here and then if it identifies the first color and then displays like the color itself or just like the beginning of the color's name, which is blue, it gets 20 points. And if it moves on and identifies the second card correctly, it gets another 30 points. So in total, it gets 50 points. So that's road inspection. Okay guys, now this is another alliance mission. It's called way sorting and the code is M7. So it, in total, it scores 60 points for each team. So basically the robot set out and then they identified the color card, which is blue. So since it's blue, the robot needs to push the cube to the blue side. So this guy steps back while this robot takes care, pushes it here, which will give both of the team 20 points. Turns back, go this, and it goes to the middle. Now they identify the color as red. So this guy steps back, to let this robot move it to the red side, which will give another 20 points. And then they'll continue on their way. So now that the robot also identified the color as red, which that robot will move the cube to the red side, which will give both of the teams another 20 points. Now they will return back to the starting area. And that's it for Mission Waste Sorting. Okay guys, so this is an Alliance mission and it's called Forest Sap, Forest Planting. The code is M8 and it scores 60 points for each team. So what the blue team does is it delivers its own sapling into the transit area, which will give 20 points for both teams. Then the red team's bot comes out, collects the sapling, and then put it into the planting area, which will give 10 points for both teams. So now both teams has 30 points. Now the red team's bot 
will grab its sapling, then deliver it to the transit area, which will give another 20 points. Then the blue team spot will collect the sapling, turn around, and deliver it to the planting area, which will give the other teams and the blue team another 10 points, which in total is 60 points. Now, the other rules for having points is if the blue team dumps the tree and it's like slanted like this, so if it's slanted like this, it still counts. As long as the base is in the planting area for at least two seconds. So if the tree rolls like this, but then stops, but then stays here for like one, two seconds and rolls back out, then still team actually scores actually points. So the same rule applies for the red team and the transit area. So that's forest planting. So guys, this is another uh, mission. It's more like a party. It's called Cities City Party. And it's basically, the code is M9, and um, the full point is 10 if the party successfully played. So, one bot dances while the other bot sings. So, this bot, the red bot will sing, and then the blue bot will dance. So, start! <laughs> and then, it needs to remain successful for at least 3 seconds, then 10 points will be given for each team. And that's City Party. Okay guys, so now we're in the menu area. This is called garbage recycling and the code is M10. The total score that can be earned is 100 points. So each thing that you score in the menu area is five points each. Now these are a spherical um, garbage, which goes into station B. And while the donut shape garbage goes into station A. So there will be an observer right there um, which will stack the garbage up which will give up which will give both the teams additional five points. So let's do a demonstration. So if a robot comes here and then gives the garbage into there, wait, and he and puts in there, then grabs another sphere, put the garbage in, and put this in, the observer can stack it up just like that, and we'll get additional 10, 5 points. And then also, the rules are, if these cones are partially in, and the observer touches them, and brings them up, up here, that will be a violation. And we'll lose 20 points. Yes, we'll be deducted. And then if the observer, the ball wasn't fully moved in yet, and the observer catches it, that's also a violation. And lose 20 points. Also, the, viol the observer cannot just reach it out here and grab it. Uh, that's also a violation. A big one. Yes. <laughs> no, but the stacks also need to be only in point A. And both teams will get um, eight points. So if it's scored in here, well, <laughs> if it's scored in here, each team will get five points. And that's manual stage garbage recycling. Okay guys, so this is called chimney dismantling. The code is M4 and the total points is 60. So what you have to do is your bot will come out right here and then once it gets to the chimney it will somehow thwack it with one of its arms the chimney in order to score a point needs to land somewhere on the table in like the board of the game but if it lands somewhere like outside of it like this the points cannot be earned so basically to earn points for chimney dismantling your bot has to put it put the chimney inside the table. And that's chimney dismantling. So guys, this is obstacle removal. The code of it is M6, and the total point earned is 60. So what your robot has to do is come, and then remove the obstacle completely. 
outside its circle, which is right here. If the cylinder is partially inside the circle, you will still not score points. You need to be completely outside. Now, that will give you 60 points. Let's pretend that the robot is um, programmed to hit it. So it goes like, bam. So then the cylinder comes out and then hits the chimney down like that. And now the chimney, even though it scored like this, the robot hasn't scored that yet, but the cylinder touched it down and it fell down on the rules and is good. But the chimney doesn't score any points for the team because it counts as an invalid prop. Invalid props basically is that um, no matter if it's scored or not, you can't not you can't use it anymore. So yeah, that's it for obstacle removal. So guys, now I'm going to just do a summary of what we just did of the game plan of Mate X 2019. The first task is called the individual auto. This task is basically doing individually while it's in the auto stage. So basically the referee is gonna choose between M1 and M2 and it's randomly generated every single game. Then it only makes the first task. Then it's M3 and M4. Um, this is also randomly generated by the referee. Uh, M5 and M6 is also randomly generated, which makes it three tasks. Now the next one is called the Alliance Auto. And this Alliance Auto is meaning that we have to team up with the other team and cooperate to do one thing. So it's basically also randomly generated by the referee. So it's generated with M7, with M8, and then this is our fourth task. Now it's M9, which is City Party, and it's our it's our fifth task. Then the then the next one is um, this is called Manual Alliance, which is ma manually controlled and also um, helping the other team and. The task that we have to do here is M10, which is um, the putting the waste segregation. And that's the summary so far. We have in total five missions for our auto mode and one mission for our manual. So that's our summary. See ya.